boy have things gotten toxic in the Destiny universe. And it's not enough that people, you know, you know, get death threats and, you know, hate mail and and now everyone has to blame the PvP community for it whenever uh, I can tell you for a fact that the PvE community has been very toxic in the past, even if maybe not so much anymore. I remember a time whenever you couldn't do a raid or a nightfall with an LFG group if you didn't have Galahorn or like Vex Mythoclast or something like that. And again, maybe it's not quite as toxic today. I think that there's still a lot of ignorant people that uh, that do things on LFG groups, you know, posting like, you know, if you're a woman, we don't watch you or, or you know, must have a high, like, like 3.6 KD, you know, stuff like that, which is, you know, I know, totally random, but, you know, that's, that's the sad truth of it is there are still people out there that are, you know, just ignorant to, to, you know, common decency, I think, and what do you what do you do about that? How do we fix this problem? Well, there's there's a couple of problems, and and that's the issue, right? We have to figure out what the actual problem is. It's it's not as simple as just saying, well, this is obviously the problem. You know, it, it's you got to figure out what exactly the problem is. So what is the problem? Uh, the problem is, you know, in part, you know, people in the PvP community, you know, feeling like they've kind of been crapped on for a while now, and I myself being a primary like pvp guy more than pve of course but it, it sucks you know it feels like we've been surviving off of a drip feed for a while now and and i'm not saying that that is is any you know like that condones death threats or you know violent rhetoric um but the people that get upset about those things i hate to say it that's a product of of the times you know it's it's 2022 and you know, everything is offensive. People get mad about everything. You can't say anything to anybody. You can't, you know, criticize anybody. Um, and again, certainly, you know, death threats. That's one of those things that's, you know, not really okay. What else is not okay? I, I don't know. Uh, you know, I, I would say, you know, potentially, you know, like racism, stuff like that. I, I don't really care about like the sexism. I don't really care about anything else. I, I, I gotta say... I grew up in an era where, you know, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. It's something that I was taught growing up, and, you know, I, I kind of live by that. And, and, you know, maybe to a fault, I just don't care. People can say what they want to me, and, and I just don't care. And, and people have. People have said some crazy things. The only thing I, I, I don't really care when someone talks about me, I definitely don't like when they talk about my wife or my kids or something like that, but... You know, I think that's everybody to some extent, but even then, I'm not going to get violent. I'm not going to throw, you know, racist or, or, you know, like, you know, death threats or anything like that around. You know, it's it's not really me, and, and I would hope that the culture at large can, can learn to, honestly, I hate to say this, but cope. Learn to cope. Not code. You guys remember learn to code? No, no. People have to learn how to cope with, with these things. You know, people have to, you know, get, get used to the fact that, you know, there's just hateful people out there, and they say things. And those those words, though, here's the thing about those words. Unless you're, like, in a court of law or something like that, <laughs> where, 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 where what they say or what you say can actually incriminate you or something like that, guess what? Those words have no effect on you. They have zero effect on you. And, you know, Glad posted something on Twitter yesterday about teabagging, and, and I, I loved it. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I, I am an avid supporter of uh, teabagging, especially if I get teabagged on first. But if I see somebody using some cheesy, cheesy-ass crap, I'm, I'm going to teabag. That's just, you know, way of the world. The way of the world. And here's the thing, guys. This isn't, this, this isn't going back in the box anytime soon, right? Cat's out of the bag. That's it. This isn't changing right and and that's one thing that i saw like dmg saying was you know until until we you know can fix this problem look this problem isn't going to get fixed that's not something that's going to happen it's it's like i said it's out of the bag it's 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 not going back in the bag it's again product of the times this is the world that we live in today we we raise people to you know go into this self self gratification where they have to have everything right whenever they want it and, you know, be damned when anybody else wants or needs, you know, it's, it's all about me, me, me. And people can say, well, you know, that's, that's what, you know, the, the people that are teabagging are doing. Well, look, yeah, maybe, but again, not going back in the bag anytime soon. It's just the world we live in today. People, you know, are kind of hateful. I don't know if y'all have realized this, but, 
you know, there's certain groups of people that, you know, get banned on Twitter, you know, that get, you know, banned on other social media platforms just for having a thought. So, again, it's not going back in the bag. What, what do we do about that? What, how do we, how do we, how do we, how do we learn to cope with this? Well, first thing I would say is maybe just, you know, if you can't, if you can't beat them, join them kind of thing. <laughs> you know, if, if a lot of times, and that happens to be the fact, a lot of times people that say things online, you know, they say things, they, they, they actually can't take the heat of whenever you say something back. It's, it's kind of like that whole, I, I, I know you are, but what am I kind of thing? <laughs> uh, if you guys remember that from, from preschool, that or just get over it. Honestly, that's my solution. My solution is to just, you know, deal with it. Like it really, really doesn't hurt me. It doesn't affect me. And, and, you know, absolutely people do get hurt by words and, and, and I understand that. And, and I try to be, um, cognizant of that, but you, we have freedom of speech for a reason in, in, in America. And I know there's, you know, a lot of people that might be watching this or coming from all over the place, you know, um, I get that, but where I come from, where Bungie is based out of in America, we do have free speech. You can, you can say things and that doesn't always mean that, that they're nice things or that they're good things or that they're even right but you have the ability to say things so long as it's not life-threatening or you know threatening of violence or anything like that you you have the ability and the privilege to say something now whenever it comes to death threats like what's happening to the bungee devs that should be totally and 100 percent condemned that should not be going on people should not be doing that and and i realize and astacross said this in one of his most recent videos you know i i realize that you know there's a good possibility that these guys that say these things, you know, 99% of the time aren't going to do anything about it. They're not going to act on that threat. You know, these are guys that, you know, like they, they just hit puberty in most cases, you know, and even if they haven't just reached puberty, they're, you know, still just assholes. The best way to deal with an asshole is to ignore them. And I know that seems simple. I get that. But that's the sad truth. If you ignore them, Either they'll stop talking or people will just realize how foolish they are, right? And I, I, I think I've realized that to a point that tends to happen more times than not. People realize that, that whenever they're just running their mouth and no one is listening to them, that person just comes off as foolish to a fault. So I don't know. What what do you guys think the solution is? Do you think that, that there's something better that we can do? Do you do you think that there's some common middle ground? I personally I don't believe there is a middle ground, not anymore, not one to be had. We just have to get over it and ignore. And 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 that's really the sad sad truth. So again, you guys let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Um, like and subscribe to the you know the channel all that like the video that'd be great uh i'm gonna try to you know start doing pumping out more content just like this and this is big to me this is huge to me because honestly uh, i kind of see my favorite game uh for whatever reason i don't know why it's my favorite game maybe maybe i'm the asshole uh but it seems like it's kind of dying right now um you know, it seems like it's kind of dying. And even like DMG said, you know, this isn't unique to Destiny or Bungie or anything like that. You know, everybody, you know, every game developer goes through this. <sighs> but with some of the issues in the game right now and some other stuff, it does feel like my favorite game is kind of on, on a losing streak right now. And and, and that, that frightens me. Uh, yeah, it, it terrifies me. Um, I don't like that. But, you know, we'll see. You know, Bungo's got some other cool stuff, you know, that, you know, the Sony deal just went through and, you know, they're trying to go, like, multimedia and do some other things. I'm going to tell you guys something. If we end up getting a Bungie like, or a Destiny, like, Netflix show, I hope to God they have a way to write in, like, weapon nerfs into the series. Like, oh, man, I don't know why, but my palindrome's just not hitting as hard as it was last week. You know, wouldn't that be great? That'd be something. I would love to see that, honestly. But there again, you guys let me know. Uh, thank you guys so much for checking out the video, and again, like and subscribe, and as always, Godspeed, my friends.